A Florida woman had her own fight with a bank, and this week we learned that Lynn Simoniak will be paid $18 million for uncovering a massive foreclosure fraud. On Monday, four top banks agreed to pay $95 million to settle charges that they used fraudulent paperwork in thousands of foreclosures. Simoniak discovered the scheme while fighting her own foreclosure. It was in 2008 that Lynn Simoniak got her foreclosure notice. In the first court appearance, her bank said that it had lost her paperwork. The case wasn't going anywhere until the bank came back to court a second time. They found all of your paperwork more than a year after they initially said that they had lost it. Yes. Did that seem suspicious to yes, you? Yes, absolutely. I, it, you know, and what, what do you imagine? It fell behind the file cabinet? Where was all of this? We had it, we own it, we lost it, and then more recently, everyone is coming in saying, hey, we found it. Isn't that wonderful? Simoniak is a lawyer with special training in spotting forgeries. She got a hold of the bank's new found mortgage documents and saw that they were signed by a bank vice president named Linda Green. Next, Simoniak went online and looked at hundreds of Florida mortgage records. Then I began to find the, the strange signatures. She found Linda Green had many signatures and Green was a vice president at a lot of banks all at the same time. Green had signed thousands of documents. All within the same week. I mean, this is a very, very active person. In a 60 minutes investigation, we tracked the Linda Green paperwork to a document mill here in Georgia. So you're Linda Green? Yes. Can't you tell? <laughs> Chris Pendley showed us how he and other low-wage employees signed documents as Vice President Linda Green. Simoniak had discovered a secret. Back when the banks were making a fortune churning out mortgages, the paperwork was sloppy. When the foreclosure wave hit, a lot of that paper was missing, and that's what the document mill was trying to replace. In my mind, this is an absolute intentional fraud. Simoniak filed a whistleblower lawsuit on behalf of the federal government under the False Claims Act. Her $18 million is a percentage of the money that the government recovered.